Welcome everyone to episode 16 of the Tuesday show. Woo! Uh, you might be able to notice, uh, or you're blind, uh, that we are MCD-less today. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it's just us three. You're stuck with us three for two hours and 30 minutes, probably. Uh, but we do have a special guest joining us later in the show. Um, I won't reveal who. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're back again. Um, I'm Rog. Um, above me to... Okay, this is confusing. To my whatever this side this is. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> to my left or right, Nils. How are you doing? Evening. Yeah. Uh, Ryan is below me. Below me. How are you doing? I literally did that to set that joke up. <laughs> what? What below a me. joke. Oh. <laughs> okay. And we're off to a fine start. <laughs> As usual. Um, yeah. So, how's everyone's week been? Uh... <laughs> well, I'm coughing. <laughs> that, was a, that was a great noise. I am, I'm coughing still, so this okay. cold doesn't want to go away. I haven't been able to record. It's very annoying. Um, mm. Other than that, I'm all right. How are you? I am very... Mm. I'm, I'm just... I, I'm very, yes. Okay. Just, Do you want to take uh, the violin out? It's a small quartet. Maybe. I don't know. Do you want to play Justin Timberlake Cry Me a River? Is it that bad? Uh, no, no. It's fine. No, it's fine. Uh, my week's been fine, to be fair. Uh, it's, it's only Tuesday. That's true. It can only yeah, go, like it, it can only go up hill from here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's been normal. It's just been, every every week's the same. To be fair, at the moment, so yeah, I just can't wait for Christmas next month and New Year, new start, fresh start. Could do with it. Okay, so uh, how, how for how you? I think. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, so that's all right. Um, probably best not to delve into how my week's been because it's been an absolute shit show. Hmm. But apart from that, I'm fucking grand, boys. The cheery, oh, the I, cheery I, I, as ever Tuesday show. <laughs> <laughs> how have you been? It's been <laughs> shit. That's how it's been. Oh, I had my um, phone volume on. I see um, MCD in the chat saying, boo, get them off. And Sadie, Ridiculous. happy Tuesday. Hello, Sadie. Yeah, happy Tuesday. And and once again, Sadie, I'll say it on stream. One sec, I need to uh, refresh. Oh, happy birthday, Sadie. I need to refresh birthday, so I can Sadie. see chat. Oh, it's 22, isn't it? I, I, right. I did actually remember it was her birthday today. Yeah. I, I remembered this morning and then halfway through the day, it's like, oh, shit, did I say it? <laughs> Turns out I did. I did at six o'clock this morning while she was asleep. That's great. All right, that doesn't count. Okay, because you could just you could just say that it again. That's why I double checked. It doesn't count. Oh yeah, I said it to you when you were asleep. Well, she was she was dozing. She wasn't snoring, so she must have been awake. Hmm. Right. Okay. Um, I've said okay again. I'm going to get bullied this week. Yep. Uh, So. The first track, uh, I picked the tracks this week. The first track is a shout out to the American <coughs> viewers because uh, it is Thanksgiving this week. So, oh, yeah, happy Thanksgiving. I thought it was uh, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I thought it was the on topic to um, start with a Thanksgiving song. I can't. <laughs> can you go full screen so I can see the title? I can't remember the title. <laughs> okay, uh, Columbus Thanksgiving official music video. Say 
Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, it's finally that day. And at this moment, I'd like to hear everyone say hooray. And when hooray! the day comes around, I'm wearing my own yellow and brown. We're dancing round and round and round and round and round and round. Now who's the man responsible for this here holiday? He discovered America in November, not in May. He's big and strong and really cool. We learned about him at my school. His name is Christopher Columbus. Hey! He conquered and he slaughtered all the Indians just so we can eat turkey. That's pretty bad, Fuck but it's out. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, it's finally that day. And at this moment, I'd like to hear everyone say hooray. Hooray! And when the day it's comes right. around, I'm wearing my orange, yellow, and brown. We're dancing round and round and round and round and round and round. Columbus was a pretty good guy. If you don't count all of the bad stuff. Columbus is the worst because Lee Harrison did him first. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, it's finally that day. And at this moment, I'd like to hear everyone say hooray. Hooray! And when the day comes around, I'm wearing my orange, yellow, and brown. We're dancing round and round and round and round and round and round. And round. The second of three sons, but the man is number one. He didn't need three ships to get the job done. The thing that he's accomplished would make Chris drop dead. The only bad thing about him is that he's a redhead. He had two charming sons, Thor, Gills, and Thorkel. We created this song to make his name immortal. He's the cock of the walk. A god, a god among men, all hail Lee Erickson. Okay, um, what did you guys think of um, Thanksgiving, the, the the musical or whatever? I don't even know what that was. Nils, well, what did you think? I like to shout hooray. Yeah. And um, but um, was there there wasn't any guitar in that instrument, was there? I'm and not why sure. Was, why was he just like caressing the guitar? I think he was just doing it for show. But either way, I'd mm. listen to that again 100%. That was a fucking banger. Okay. Just, good. just some, it, some it feel good about it. Even if it was <laughs> like the epitome of autism. But I can relate to that. Ryan. Like, <laughs> it's just so much wrong. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> like, the, the, the weird void, like the weird vocal layers, where it was like there was like this weird, like out of tune, low vocal throughout, and it just kept making me laugh because it was so out of tune. Uh, and then also like the like four or five voices that were out of time as well, which was brilliant. Uh, the beat, the beat as well. Like um, I don't, really, I want, I've never found a beat that bad. I like generally want to know: is there like a beat stars? For really bad beats like that, because it's just like I don't know where they get it from. Um, I think they made it themselves. I won't be surprised. Yeah, and then like yeah, halfway through the song, halfway through the song, it just turned to like jazz. Like there's this jazzy bit, and then yeah. Um, this is the thing though. I actually smiled throughout, so I suppose mm. you know I uh, didn't hate it that much. <laughs> um, chat. It's called SoundCloud. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think even like I think that's even worse than what you see on SoundCloud. They they just like I don't know. It's like where Matthew Prime goes, you know, where those two lads go. Um, young Alone goes. No, I think Young Alone. I don't know he, where he. Uh, I, I don't know where he held. shops at. Yeah, <laughs> he Young Alone shops at where nobody else gets their beats. Um, hmm. But no, I mean it was pretty harmless. Um, they said it was satire yeah. in the description. Well, there you go. Um, like I think you can. I think that's like what you say when you know it's shit. So yeah, fair enough. Mm. Um, oh shit! I can't make myself big. 
There we go. In my life. So yeah, this <laughs> was. Uh... <laughs> that was so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why? Why did she say that? I don't know. We'll, it's twenty twenty three. Yeah, true. Um, <laughs> so I thought that was like a quite a fun track when I first heard it. I was like, "Yeah, this has got to go in." It was like the goofy voices, the goofy beat, and the topic was very on theme for this week. So yeah, that's why I put it in. Uh, shout out Jimin in the track. Uh, Jimin. Yeah, let me get Jimin. Jimin. I I I don't have to say it. Yeah. I can't um, he's chat. set up our TikTok, so oh, that's great. So we can, uh, he's set we up can be TikTok spied on by the so. Chinese government. Yay! Yay! Tuesday in China. As long as the Chinese yeah. government are um, watching Tuesday show, I'm fine. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's why I picked this track. Um, I just thought it was quite fun. They <laughs> they seem to have enjoyed themselves. I enjoyed my uh, first listen, and I enjoyed this listen as well. So, uh, next up. Uh, we have Kyle Beats Collective, Think About It, featuring Matt Corman, oh. Juice, and C. Diffie. I think it's. I thought it said Think About It. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, I think about a second it. Glance, then. <clears throat> um, nothing to say about this one yet. I'll say it after. Let's go. Yeah. Yo, it's been a long day. I'm done with all the bullshit. Mm. I'm trying to go get dumb rich. Mm. Spend my Monday getting dumb lit. Yo, sick of the hangovers. Trying to get some money so that I can drive Range Rovers. I don't really know if I'm killing shit, but the game's over. Mm. Y'all ain't listening. Hey, hey. I grew up, came from nothing. Never was just stunting. Remember back in school, man. Always had the luncheons. Talking about the lunch balls, cause I ain't have no money. Cracking hella jokes. People always thought us funny, but I would cover it up. Cover it up all, cover it all up. Now the boy just likes to ball. Remember I got topped off, chilling in the mall. Up in the bathroom stall, got nobody here to call. Shit is getting lonely and hungry at some times. Now I'm chilling with a shorty, drinking dumb wine. Chance she fine as fuck in the lunch line. When I got topped off and I think it's crunch time, yo. I'm about to go off, wearing all my nice fit, calling me a show off. Man, I may glow back, but wait until I glow off. Yeah, I said wait until I FaceTime calls from the city back home. I ain't no shit till I grabbed a mic phone. I was at a peak, shit was moving type slow. Now these brand new women try to slide on my pole. Green room sipping Casamigo cup full. Like when my women come in twos, I ain't talking couples. I told Brody bring the models, he just brought a truck full. Only pop out for the bag, walked out with a duffo. Lean forward, such a tone, shake that ass for me. Put your hands on your knees, bring it back to me. I'm with Brody at the show, throw a rack for me. Fuck it, baby, get low, hit the cat daddy. Lean forward, such a tone, shake that ass for me. Put your hands on your knees, bring it back to me. I'm with Brody at the show, throw a rack for me. Fuck it, baby, get low, hit the cat daddy. A real one, I was born. Day, ay, yeah, ay, ay. A real one, I was born on a cold day. In the studio, listening to Coldplay. Ballin' like I'm looking in the fourth quarter. My homeboy sent a pack across the north border. Reminisce the days when I used to struggle. If the police pull me over, I'ma get in trouble. Two pounds, we loud, I can hear the sound. Rebound, getting pound when I touch down. Hey, I can hear what's in the speakers. About to freestyle like it's LA Leakers. <laughs> Okay, what did you think of um think about it? Uh who hmm. are we getting up first? Ryan. I will Did he say LA leakers? He may have done. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I thought the first two raps were great. Um, I thought the last rap wasn't great. Um, I sort of wait in. It's just all sort of the same flow, and like I don't know, it wasn't. I was like waiting for like a really cool hook or the beat to really kick in, but it was just like. I don't know. It's just like it felt like something's trapped, ready to get out. Um, mm. I I really didn't like that beat. I, I, it was it was okay. like um, 
I think they like I think I could probably take that beat to like as an intro and then it builds into something else like bigger or something where it gets faster or whatever but um there was like really there was some really odd sound effects as well that I don't think really worked um just to ask both of you uh, did you uh, by any chance I mean don't look at the chat if you didn't read chat but uh did you look at chat during the song and see uh, Jimin's post cuz if you don't read it don't read it don't read it I did read it. Oh, okay. um, I can't see chat, so I can just see um, three. Yeah, okay, right, right, right. I, I, w- I want to hear Nils' feedback before I explain like what that is. Right. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. But yeah, I thought like I did. I did think the first two raps were really good. Um, I think I was just waiting for them to like really kick into gear. Um, I, the last the last rap I just didn't oh. thought Sorry. it was like great, but yeah, fair enough. Um. Nils, what did you think? I was distracted by that beat too much. Okay. There was there was something about it, like Ryan said, it felt like it should have been an intro, <laughs> but like the kick was so it sounded like the kick was so compressed that it was like non existent. But I did hear one bar, and that's the only one I heard before being distracted by the beat. That was when he um rhymed hangover with Rand Rover. I, I thought he said Rand Rover or Rand Rover. I wasn't sure which. He said one of the two. Yeah. It was okay. it was just a distracting beat. I yeah. I didn't listen okay. to much of that. I was trying to get that beat out of my head. Um. So, as Jimin said, um. So this is Kyle Beats, a YouTuber which I watch, and um, they made this entire song without hearing anything of it. So the beat, they, they couldn't hear it. So he made the beat. Found some random sample, didn't hear the sample, made a beat around it without hearing it at all. Like I think they heard three seconds of it at one point, but that was after the beat was made already. Um, and then they rapped over the the metronome in the door instead of like rapping over the beat. So that's why the mix is weird as well. Uh, same with the music video; they didn't hear the song until it was actually like released. So I just thought okay, that them. makes that makes a bit Does that more change. Sense. Does that change anyone's? Feedback on that. I think. Not? I think. Uh, I think if it if it worked and I liked it, they would have got away with that. But I don't think it did. Okay. I think uh, they they I are. Think it, I think it sounds low. like. I think it sounds like exactly what I'd expect if you couldn't hear. Yeah, you know it mean? does. It does make more sense yeah. now because I really didn't like that beat. But now you've said it that, is I'll a like, really I'll, good beat maker. I'll, I'll, I'll give him it. He's a really good beat maker, but this beat right. is not it. <laughs> no. No. Uh, but it is impressive to say that, like, you know, they've fully yeah, made I, a song. It doesn't fair actually enough for the effort. Oh. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Matt Coleman's actually like quite a decent rapper as well. Uh, the first guy. Mm. I, um, I think the raps. Are, I think I think the first two raps are really good. Yeah, and uh, you know, uh, it's imp- it's more impressive that they did it without hearing it, especially like as well. So I I I I, I get that. Um, but. I think like there's a, there is like a way of doing something different and it's still sounding like a good song and it's well mixed yeah. and stuff. And then I think sometimes they can go like so far out trying to do something new that it does. There's no, it just becomes unlike unlistenable, I guess. But this, this isn't on Spotify. It was just like a uh, what's it called um, it was just a goofy video that they just tried to try. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, it's a, yeah, I it's a good video, idea. I like the, the idea cool. of it. Yeah, <clears throat> I thought the video was pretty cool. <laughs> the fact that they couldn't hear the song or hear like the BPM or anything, but had to like move to the video is just uh, mm. fair play. But yeah, yeah, Kyle Beats is an insane uh, producer in that song. He's got a song with uh, you know Porfu, the the guy who features on uh, Baby Boo's song uh, Deathbed. You know the Don't Go to Bed. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, he, he, he's the rapper on that. He's got a song with him. So. Oh, fucking hell. He's, he's a decent producer. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd chuck that in here because it was interesting. And interesting, I just wanted yeah. to like see what your uh, reactions would be for that. So. Um, so it's downhill from here, as I said. Yeah, I mean, I just saw... I oh, saw, we're in I, for a treat already. <laughs> <laughs> I saw... So I, yeah. um, <laughs> I've searched the internet depths for this one. Um, I went for a n- random name generator and I had like a wheel of... Lil, I actually did have Biggie in there as well, which is quite funny. 
because the artist is Big Foo. But I found this artist called Lil Garbage Truck. And apparently Nils has heard of him before. I've heard of him. But this has 600 views. Um, and yeah, there's there's a lot going on in the thumbnail. I'll let the song... I didn't listen to the entire song. I, I just listened to the first ad lib and I was like, this is the one. So I don't know what's going to be in here. So apologies if there's anything offensive. Uh, but yeah. This is Scam Monarch. Biggie sorry. Foo, Scam Monarch, Feet Little Garbage Truck and Poodle Dwar. Dior, sorry. I don't know what the other two sound like. I just know what Biggie Foo sounds like. Because of the ad lib. Martin, are you leaving? So I got made it. So I got made it. So I got made it. It's your boy Biggie Foo. You know I'm on this shit with all the OGs. No shitty pamper type shit. Yeah. Let's get it, you boy Biggie Foo. Oh. Biggie Foo. This bitch fat as hell. She got diabetes. She had a heart attack after eating one Reese's. <laughs> called her fat. Then she tried to eat me. Called her ugly. Then she chopped off my pee pee. Just found out a crack and stole my bike. I'm mad as fuck. I got jumped by a bunch of dykes. And I just shot this dude in the stomach. I think his name is Riggity Roo. You ass broke as fuck. Can't even afford Scooby Snacks. I just get in a whole village. Where the fuck they water went? My teacher kidnapped me and put me in a teepee and forced me to suck his pee pee. I just shit my fucking pants. Yeah, you wanna be me. Yeah, fuck poo poo. We all pee pee. Biggie Foo. <laughs> Look, garbage truck. I just put up on slump, I can't slop them with egg. Sneak this a little garbage truck, you get slop with egg. This is PP Records, nigga, fuck poo poo. I was gonna fuck my dog, but she smell like doo I was trying to fuck this bitch, cause she smell like pee pee. And you know we PP Records, so we fuck with pee pee. I just shot little Rocket Launcher up with some fucking BB. I just got this white bitch named BB. And fuck that nigga, big cock, he keep trying to diss me. He keep trying to diss me while his bitch wants to kiss me. I just went to Florida and scam Walt Disney. I just got a big bitch for some kitty. I just scammed a white man named Donald Trump, I fuck niggas in the ass, call me Donald Trump. Fuck a tampon, I'm finna slap niggas with pad. I just pulled up on spaz and slap that nigga with a pad. I don't want syrup, bitch, I want maple. I just scammed gravity balls for maple. I just scammed this nigga proxy using candy maple. I just scammed this mental bitch, she was unstable. Happy Thanksgiving though, you done bought a turkey. I just fucked a fat bitch, now she tryna burn me. I caught this little hoe young boy, I heard she got herpes. This little bitch just sucked my dick like a fucking Slurpee. I just fucked a turkey nigga, I couldn't find my dog. This little bitch ugly as hell, she look like a frog. This little bitch so damn freaky, she just cut off my balls. This nigga so damn stupid, he drunk pure alcohol. I support gay marriages, shout out Blatino and Eli. This bitch so fucking sexy, but she ain't gonna get no reply. Bitch, I'm Poodle Dior, you shouldn't forget that. I just fucked the ugly bitch and she was fat and black. I just smacked the crackhead. In the head with a piece of cheese. I was gonna fuck Cariana, but she underage and Chinese. Her parents say ching chong, ching chong, come take my daughter back. This bitch big as hell, she look like a quarterback. And this nigga broke as fuck, he can't afford a quarter pounder. Y'all better stay in for Thanksgiving, COVID getting real. Biggie Foo. I just fucked up this baby, and I don't even know his name, but now I'm fucked up, I think I drink butane, I saw Nathan, he got jumped by Lil Wayne, but I ain't playing, you got a fake chain while wearing that plain Jane, but I'm chilling, getting brain while Nathan getting flushed down the drain, what, down the drain, damn, that's crazy, but I remember you got shit on with the Model 680, I think I remember you crying like a big baby, but Biggie Foo rapping so good, they call me Slim Shady, damn, I'm mad as fuck, I hit him dumbass in the head with a snowman, Nathan dumb as hell, he trying to talk to some turkeys, while skiing shit on, while I hit him in the head with a piece of beef jerky, let's get it, you boy Biggie Foo, yeah, Biggie Foo! Biggie Foo! <laughs> that was great. That, that's, that is actually great. So I only heard the uh, the, the the first Biggie Foo. I was like, this is this is going in. I don't care if the rest of the song is shit. Nils, what did you think? Oh, uh, that beat was hard. <laughs> those, those kicks were fucking crisp. But everything else was... I, I don't know. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Um, apart from an experience, <laughs> uh, link me that track later on. I, I need to give it another listen. <laughs> <laughs> this had 682 views and it's from a year ago. This is an absolute find. It's a find okay. and it's a worthwhile find. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it was an R experience. Ryan, what did you think? Biggie Foo! <laughs> Biggie Foo! Um... I want to hear the original because apparently this was a remix. So uh, this was a re. Apparently, what was the what's the original? I don't know. I think, I think we we um if it's if it's by the same artist, I think we have to give the uh the original a listen. 
Um, I especially like the lyric, uh, she got diabetes, she had a heart attack after eating one. I, I like the lyric, um, we know poo poo, we pee pee. <laughs> no, there's lot, there was lots of pee pee and poo poo, I noticed, <laughs> in this song. Uh, maybe it should have been called um, pee pee and poo poo, I think. Um, yeah, it was. Um, I, I, I'm reading like the transcript that YouTube does. <laughs> There's some just absolutely amazing lyrics. Um, Ugly as hell, she looked like a frog. This little bit so damn freaky, she just cut off my balls. <laughs> yeah. Um, although YouTube seems to think Biggie Foo is Figgy Foo. <laughs> so. Or Biggie, Biggie Food. Foo. Biggie Foo! Biggie Foo! Um... Biggie food rapping so good they call me Slim Shady. I doubt it. Mm. I, no, I no, doubt no, it. no, no, no. Slim Shady has nothing on Biggie food. I, I, I doubt it. But I, yeah, <laughs> uh, it was terrible. And please stop making music. Thank you. Well, Ryan, you'll be pleased to know, mate, that nine days ago he released a track with Young yeah, Burger saw. Flipper called No Ho. I, I, I saw it. Young Burger Flick. <laughs> it was more like to the universe, to be honest, me saying that. Well, um, he's released a track with Young Burger Flip. Yeah. <laughs> Please, can we listen to it? Yeah. There's also a year ago, uh, If I See a Baby featuring DJ Diabito, Baby <laughs> Diss Track 2. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many fucking videos there are, like. <laughs> I like DJ Diabito. Admiral AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Biggie Foo, automatic, featuring shitty pamper. We need to go through this, guys. Fucking... I, think we, I think we need to do an album review on this. We need, we yeah. No, we need to go through this guy's entire discography. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh -huh. we go. right. Let's get it, your boy, Biggie Foo. You know we're really on the show with Young Burger Flipper. With another track going viral, <laughs> top charts. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is Biggie Foo? I think it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get it, you poor Biggie Foo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this bitch ain't got no hoes, no hoes, no hoes. Fucking on this bitch, stop talking through your nose. I ain't fucking with this bitch. Talking through your nose? No toes, no oh, toes. The fuck? Yeah, she got no toes. <laughs> man, why ain't Nathan got no hoes, man? I don't know. Why is it every time I rap, I got no flow? I don't need no flow. Drop it down, it's Nathan K. Put out my grizzly. Nathan Lucky, his last name Dre. It's no November. Don't think I can have sex today. <laughs> Boy, I don't think I was gonna have sex anyways. Mm, but I might. Relatable. They think gonna be my flashlight. He ain't even put up no fight. Dang, That's not really relatable. To try. Ow, you skidded him. <laughs> yeah, I slapped Nathan in the face with a brick and I got this perk, but it ain't working. I fart on my ass, I can't be stopped. If you pull up on Biggie Foo, you're gonna get dropped. I go fire with this music, so they call me, I go fire with this music. Yeah, they call me, go fire with this music. I steal your bitch, then I rape her. They pulled up and I folded like some paper. Crack rock smoking, inhaling all this vapor. God damn it, I wiped my ass with sandpaper. I just went to the no! strip club and I said, no, I'm dipping. Yeah, never let me slip, cause if I slip, then I'm slipping. I've been shitting like I've been fun, but I don't even know how to use the potty. Yeah, Nathan double side. Is he a big body? Nathan mad as hell, I made him back out the lobby. I gave this boy a Flintstone gummy, told him it was a perk. Told Nathan it was chocolate, but it was just dirt. I pegged my boyfriend in the ass like I'm old dirt. Nathan broke his hell cause he don't know how to work. Nathan, you're a jerk. This bitch ain't got no hoes, no hoes, no hoes. Fucking on this bitch, stop talking through your nose. I ain't fucking with this bitch, she ain't got no toes, no toes. Yeah, she got no toes. Hey, why ain't Nathan got no hoes, man? I don't know. Why is it every time I rap, I got no flow? Fuck a flow for Nathan. We get it cooking like bacon. He said he needed some money. He sent me a video of his ass shaking. 
Well, that's cool, but I can't relate. Pull up on that boy and I'll procreate. Keep it in your pants if you don't want to eat. And you not my mans because you want to hate. Trying to set some bands, you a little late. I ain't talking fans, but we spinning. They think we know where you live. We rain your crib and we stealing all your chicken. Music. I need to find that bit in the middle where. Guys, I can't be stopped. I guard this music. I steal your bit. They pull up and I fall smoking and hail. Where's that? I don't know. Oh, oh, wait. His last man. I don't know. They ain't worse music. So they... There's that noise in the middle where it's just like. <laughs> just... Yeah. Young wow. Bird. I think we found the new Young Alone replacement. Yeah. <laughs> I love Biggie Foo. Thought we all. But you know what? Somewhat. This interestingly, that's somewhat better than Young Alone. Mm -hmm. It is be it's better than Young Alone, but it's yeah. I, I, it's equally as the bar isn't high. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, it's equally as funny. As... But no, it's not. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just sorry. I'm looking through some more of his songs. <laughs> Sc scamming <laughs> online featuring Twenty One Sausage and Little Diaper Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Keep just reading through the tracks, please. I just want to Bre hear breast mints. And then in brackets, <laughs> gone wrong. <laughs> the fuck is breast mints? And and how do they go wrong? Hair extendos. Who's that featuring? It wasn't featuring anyone. I still like If I See a Baby featuring DJ Diabito. Baby <laughs> diss track V2. Is it like someone called like, ja a little razor blade Japs eye or something? I can Big see Chris Piss. Biggie Foo, <laughs> big, big, Biggie Foo, fuck babies, and then in brackets, baby <laughs> diss track. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> is it like little baby or is it actually a baby? <laughs> this is the well. This is the this is the uh, thing. <laughs> How long's that fucking track? <laughs> Four minutes and twelve songs. Jesus, it's a fucking. The fucking long track, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Okay, we've we, we, we've got some got some we've got content. Some, we've got some material, yeah. Yeah, Jesus Christ! That's gonna be the next <laughs> show sorted. Piggy <laughs> foo, piggy foo. That's, that's actually great. That's um, we, we found the next gold mine. Um, that was. Both songs were there was experience. one there was one guy in that last song who's who raps some incredibly dark shit where I felt like even the other two were like yeah um well you go over there like <laughs> yeah it went on yeah. to some touchy subjects yeah and you're just like yeah imagine that get imagine like <laughs> recording the song and then you get that verse and you're like okay then you <laughs> he rhymed something dodgy with wiped my ass with sandpaper right yeah i think so yeah. yeah that was first of all don't do either of the two things that you said because sandpaper no, on they will, that will definitely hurt isn't. that will uh and probably mm. be very loud in a in a cubicle yeah um you're like you're seeing someone going to the toilet with sandpaper you'd be like why take sandpaper in the toilet <laughs> you see on the floor all the hairs dropping down no i can't do this. the hairs uh, the skin <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, right, yeah. who's this? Uh, next up, we have... Oh, shit, I've lost the playlist. Who's oh, this and why isn't it Biggie Foo? Weekend Cigarettes, Over the Lies. Uh, now, before this track starts, the the bass in the like, intro was... For some reason, it just reeled me in. Um, and it was weird. So, yeah. Um, that, that's why I put this one in, just because... It's it's a weird baseline, and someone commented the same thing, and I didn't see the comment till after, and I was like, "Yeah, okay, let's go." Okay, again. Okay. Silence. Silence. <laughs>
Okay, so that was uh, Weekend Cigarettes with Over the Lies. Um, Ryan, what did you think? <clears throat> um, yeah, it was all right. I thought, like, nothing really wrong with it. Um, like, I think you immediately reduce your market share um, of listeners if you constantly strobe throughout because um, anyone with a slight sort of photo epilepsy problem is going to have a great it's going to have a hard time trying to watch that track i don't know whether i would have gone from having the whole thing in strobe to be honest it was even irritating for me after about a minute of just constant strobe um <clears throat> so i'm not sure i'm not sure i like that um there was like i said there wasn't really anything wrong with the track i just felt it was a bit like mid just a bit like I got a bit. I got a bit exactly bored. What ben said in yeah, I, I got a bit bored. Um, yeah, like I don't know. Like I said, it was. It's not really my style of music, and I think it, when it's not your style of music, with other tracks that haven't been like what I would traditionally listen to, they have to be like extra special for me to say. You know, I liked it or mm. whatever. Um, and there wasn't really anything in that that really sort of appealed to me it just sort of seemed to follow just a very bland sort of structure um yeah it's just it was just a bit mid i think okay nils what did you think uh like ryan said that strobing was quite a lot hmm. i mean i'm not epileptic but i feel for anyone that is because that was fucking that was hard for me but um I got, I got like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater vibes from that song. Hmm. And I probably wouldn't listen to it again, but yeah, it was it was pretty mid, but not unenjoyable. But hmm. probably won't listen to it again. Sorry, Rogue. Sorry. Uh, so I liked the bass. I didn't watch the music video when I was uh, finding it because I find them at work, and then I have my phone in my pocket. Uh, so I didn't see the music video the first time but yeah that was, that was a bit overwhelming um but i i thought the song was all right um i know that they're italian uh that's all i found out about them no, um i didn't pick that up uh yeah yeah it was very offspring which the chat said uh but i really liked the bass line of the, the track mm. that was the thing that like drew me in mm-hmm. from the first second obviously this is my type of music uh it's not nothing like groundbreaking, but I just thought the um the bass line was just different. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that that's that's why I put it in here. Um I thought it was a nice track. Uh so yeah. Uh that was shout out weekend cigarettes. Uh next up Oh god we've got young <laughs> We got Young Chuff off my mind. And <coughs> you might notice this, this is on Band Lab. Pan lab, Jesus. Yes. Okay. I'm like preparing myself for this, I think. Okay. Oh no. Oh, I can't get her off my mind. So many times, yeah, I tried my baby. All you did was lie. Yeah, all you did was lie. I just gotta run it up, run it up. Can't believe I ever put it trust in you. Can't believe I ever put it trust in you. No, I can't believe that. Maybe you just make shit. You know that I hate it. Stop all this complaining, fuck with you too basic Whoa, lane switch, fuck all the talk, you just hating Seeing eyes filled with hatred, girl, I'm the one who debating Yeah, whoa, baby, I just wanted us to last her First in the race, never last her Yeah, I guess this life went faster I why can't get her off my mind So many times, yeah, I tried my baby All you did was lie, yeah, all you Cupid's out my door, but he gotta leave. I think-
think love's a crazy thing Baby, I wish we could be Baby, I wish you could see My ticket sipping a serpent yeah. My first love is a bar My second love is you Yeah, trying Baby, I'm trying for you oh, Baby, no, I could not see through oh, Yeah, I don't think these drugs is working Not working Yeah, my demons, they be lurking They lurking All because of Okay, so that was um, Young Chuff off my mind. Now, I just want to say before, uh, that was kind of a, I, I saw the, the picture for it and I was like, oh, this is going to be shit. <laughs> and I think both of you had that as well. And I was I was actually impressed to say it was Banlab. Because usually Banlab comes out with some absolute disaster classes. Uh, so yeah, um, Nils, you go first. What do you think? When I first heard that auto tune bit at the beginning, I went, "Oh fucking hell!" But it wasn't. It was overly auto tuned, but not to a point where I think I can't listen to this anymore. It was partially enjoyable. I probably wouldn't listen to that again. But it is very, it is very rogue that track, and I appreciate that. And I don't, I. I've never used Band Lab, so I don't know the pros and cons of it. Um, let's just say there's some absolute disaster classes come from it because it's very easy to make music, but usually the mix is so shit, like unbelievably shit. Uh, but yeah, um, I thought the mix was actually okay on this one. It didn't sound too bad, actually. <clears throat> yeah, because I mean, th there's only so many like auto tune things you can do on Band Lab, so like, I'm assuming that he's just used the default one built in. So. It's always like kind of heavy, but yeah. Uh, Ryan, what did you think? <laughs> yeah, I hated it. Um, okay. Uh, pretty much uh, from beginning to end. Um, like it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be from that picture. Like definitely had that. Like oh, this is going to be Young Alone Part Two. Um, but it was actually Young Alone Part Three. Um, no, it wasn't that bad. Um, yeah, I just mix was awful uh it was too loud the start i don't know what the fuck was going on at the start um too loud um like high frequencies were way too loud it was like my ears were being pierced with a knife um didn't like i thought the auto tune although i understand it's the style i think i've heard better like in other tracks where we've had that sort of auto tune style I think I've heard that done way better than that. Um, I don't. I didn't know what he was saying half the time. Yeah, no, I thought it was god awful to be honest with you. But sorry, Rogue. I know it's your thing, but I just it's think okay. it's not. I think like some I stuff think you it showed was me. Like... Some stuff you showed me of the stuff you listen to is way like thousand levels higher than that. So I didn't think this was necessarily <laughs> good. It was just mm. it was imp I was impressed because it was band lab. That's why. That's why I've right. put this in. I, I know like, what you mean by band lab. I, it, yeah, yeah. It's definitely worse. Band lab is band yeah. yeah. Band lab's <laughs> fucking mixing is usually everyone's in a bath shit. or like <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> usually everyone's in a bath and the, the auto tunes turned up the full. <clears> whereas <throat> this guy seemed to have turned it down a little bit, only a little yeah. bit. But yeah, it but it sounded like it was recorded quite well, which is also surprising because it's usually recorded on a phone. So. Yeah, uh, it's always the same. Funny. It's always like it's just that repeat all the time. I'm like, okay, <laughs> heard it now. Fair enough. Well, yeah, um, that's the reason I put it in, just because I thought, especially after hearing fucking Joe Boston, Bound Love stuff. Uh, yeah, that was that's an experience. If you've never heard that, <laughs> I had the misfortune of hearing it. Oh, I showed it you once, didn't I? Oh, you did, yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that, that was on Band Lab, and this was on Band Lab. So th this makes that look like it. this is the Bohemian Rhapsody of Band Lab. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I put this in. Um, we'll move on. Oh, MCD, if you were on the chat, you're going to love this one. Um, I also love it, I'll be honest. It's called Fallout, and it's by a band called Sleep Theory. 
I found this when it had like eight views. Now it's on 50k. <laughs> Oh. oh, why is this? Right. Bit premature there. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I was. And my stream lagged and I thought I'd talk it off, but yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Shit. Let's get to. Ryan, what did you think? Yeah, it's dope. Um, I really. Um, I've got. Sorry, I've got to minimize the screen because <laughs> what's coming next? I saw <laughs> it's really distracting. What's going <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, the the next truck truck might be a bit jarring to people. Uh, Excellent. I, I don't can just sit into like the start, like, <laughs> my peripheral vision. Like I've got to give a review, and like this peripheral vision of that. Uh, right. <laughs> no, I uh, I loved it. Um, ben has so, sort of slowly conditioned me into liking more and more of this style of sort of new metal-y style music. Um, yeah, I thought it was just great. I thought the vocals were absolutely fire. Um, he had a really cool, like, um, I don't know, like, roll in his voice that just in the, in the hook really came through. Um, I thought the video was dope as well sort of like post-apocalyptic style um yeah i thought that i just thought it was, i thought it was great all around really really liked it mm. uh, it's a shame mcd isn't here because he would have I, I don't know what he would have said i mean he's in the chat but he hasn't said anything about it he has oh heavy oh seven dust lincoln park yeah, yeah definitely lincoln I, park That's i got lincoln park got vibe straight away yeah. Definitely not like not the voice. There's but... too many S's in chat. There's smoking latte and spoony, spoony bum, and I keep reading it as if it's just smoking latte. Spoony bum, spoony bum. No, that was fucking yeah. sick. Yeah. Um, I ain't got anything negative to say about that? Um, I Fair want enough. that as a playlist contender though, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know. I said about the um the the track before, like that being the best one, but the, I think hush. I don't know. This is on par with Hush, in my opinion. I was impressed when I I found this. I was like, "Damn!" <laughs> but yeah, this uh, this song is a banger. Um, especially being a Lincoln Park fan, this this is everything I want in a song. It's what like not called too again? heavy. They are called Sleep Theory. Sleep Theory. Sleep Theory. <sighs> the song's called Fall Out. I already have this on my playlist on Spotify. I think 334k right monthly listeners right well i found this when this had 80 views i did not check that you know yeah okay but either way that's that's going on the playlist now yeah well yeah um i didn't know they were that popular jesus christ okay that well that explains the video then i guess um yeah i thought this song was fucking dope and the music video dope everything so yeah. um are we are we okay I'm excited before, before for the next we one. Before we get into the next one, I just want to say that this this is a bit jarring to some people. This will be jarring to some people. <laughs> um, I'll pull it up on screen in a, just a second. Um, now, I don't even... <laughs> I think your cat's want to enter. Yeah, I, I, found this, I found this track by an accident and instantly uh, greeted to this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're on full screen for this, and yeah, uh, this is Lil P dot with fool. Um, again, a bit jarring. What is it? What is it? And how do I kill it with fire? Um, I, I, just, I don't even know. Just, just press, just press play. I apologize to anyone. It looks like something from The Shining. <laughs> I don't What's think up, this is your boy, nigger boy. Oh. There's something oh. I need to tell you. <laughs> Fast, black people suck each other's cock, nigger. It's us, it's it's your baby. Fucking hell. Little Doc. Little Doc. Short by Jacob. Jacob. Suck my dick. Pussy. Girl. You think I'm not like me, you wasn't me no fool. It's us, it's your baby. I'll do a shot at my fucking bitch too. Bitch, I'll break my knee. Trust me, I'll put my up in the pool. Don't wait for pussy. You a bitch. Nigga, I'm sick of dick. If I catch you up, I'm a dick. You get hit. 
throw it under, it's the bait. I got the knocks, but pull the same shit, put on top. I ain't wanna fight, I just wanna, I ain't wanna fight, I just wanna shoot. Like, I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Fuck, you niggas pussy, get on my body. I do a side, go like naughty, like, hop into E. Dottie, hop in the walk from Charlie Fowler, like, don't mess with me. Don't touch me like it's a constant. I'm trying to shut you. I'm doing a shutter by fuck of us. I'm doing a shutter by up in the flame. Like, I'm gonna put in the frame. Like, what? And it's time to not talk. Bitch, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home. It's gonna just dance an opera. Like, they keep a pocket watch. Like, got the pocket fuck it. I got the knock on my head. I'm gonna hit the knock on my head. I got the knock on my head though. I got the knock on my head though. Mess. Like, give her a good, like, give her a good hot dog. Oh, you think I'm a lefty? You must be a fool. Listen to music while I walk on the school. It's costly here, baby. Bitch, I don't keep me a fool. Brian's face throughout the entire trip. <laughs> <laughs> Nels, before you said the beat is hard, um, oh, no, 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 <laughs> no it, it, it definitely wasn't. Yeah, uh, he used um, that, that's the triple X uh, sample I was talking about, and he just oh, ruined yeah. the sample. Yeah, it's, yeah get our Christmas, was... get our Christmas uh, Carol by XXX Tentation, which is like a fucking great song, and yeah, he um. This guy didn't, well, he killed it, but in the wrong way. Um, so, yeah. I, I oh, don't wait, know Ray's here. Wait, what's that? I'm just, hello, Ray. How are you doing? Good evening, boys. How are you? Hello. Wonderful, mate. You? Doing well. Pleased, pleased to make your acquaintance, Ryan and Nils, for the very first time on camera and on stream. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you for having me on today, guys. Did you, by any chance, just hear the last track? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yeah, that was that was an experience in itself. Um, I I have nothing positive to say about that. You can go to Ryan now. Okay, Ryan, <laughs> your face was a picture during the entire track. You just look. Uh, I. Uh, I. Yeah, please stop, please, <laughs> like forever um also i don't know what instrument he had was that like a fucking litter picker i couldn't work out what he was i thought it was a crossbow to start with and then i was like, oh, nice. like like yeah and i then i because of how like much my ears were bleeding throughout the entirety of that track i was then trying to work out what the instrument was that he was carrying uh yeah i don't know what he said um the beat was like so fucking loud like jesus how loud do you want the beat um yeah just i uh, fucking terrible the the ending where he punched the laptop screen it was exactly how i felt throughout the entirety of that mm. track uh, ray did you catch enough of it to uh give feedback or I was very much in the mindset of Nils that there wasn't any redeeming qualities and I didn't have a lot of positive things to say about it. I would just say that of some of the meme tracks that we've heard today on the Tuesday show or previously, in particular Young Alone, there was just no redeeming comedic, you know, kind of uh, value about it. It was just wasn't really doing too much. Oh, and I want to I want to um, enter a controversial opinion for my first appearance on the Tuesday show. I think uh, Young Alone is far superior to um, what was his name? Biggie. Biggie. Yeah. Uh, all right. Young alone, young alone. Young alone is operating in seventh dimensional pockets with some of those raps that he put together on one of the, 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 the track that was there. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's from the seventh dimension. Yeah. <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's got a flat there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought this. This is probably. It's not. It's. It's unlistenable. This like at least Young alone has. That as like everyone said, like that Young Alone has like redeemable qualities, as in it's just actually funny. This is just completely unlistenable. I now and... like I, I I now like love you for introducing me to Ill Peach, and also despise you for making me listen to that <laughs> Lil P dot. 
but uh, even way, longer than five seconds. When I first <sighs> heard the intro, I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I was like, and then it cut to that. I don't know what the intro was all about, but I, yeah, but I'm, I'm assuming. Right, that 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 you got that little twat at the start saying that vile shit that you're saying, and then it cuts to the other kid responding to that. Is what I was getting the story of. I was actually mm. imagining that that first little twat was going to be the rapper for the whole song. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. what I thought. Uh, that's what I thought out, like, originally, uh, and then and then I looked at the video because I I had it in my pocket, so yeah, yeah. And then I saw um, the video, I was like, no. <laughs> There's too no, many effects. It was like yeah, um, a TikTok yeah. on like, someone had like re-edited a TikTok like a thousand times. So yeah, uh, that that was trash. Uh, let's move on swiftly. Uh, so now we're on to the section of emo tracks, as I'm, I like to call it. Every track from here <laughs> on out is basically some subculture of emo, I guess. Uh, this one especially, uh, Grey Wind Antidote. Are you waiting? <laughs> okay. Uh, <coughs> fucking hell. I, I didn't expect that camera. Okay. Uh, shit. Wait, what did you think? Man, I like that. Um, I had a great sound. It had me uh, moving my head from start to finish. Um, I thought it sounded really well produced and like professional. I liked the video, the visuals. It was all super cool. Um, uh, his vocalist just was um, a lot of presence and energy um, and uh, appreciated that. Um, the only criticism I think was like by the end, I, uh, lyrically, like it seemed to get a little bit re repetitive. Like, was it uh, just the refrain was happening a lot or some of the lyrics were similar or the structure was similar or something like that. But um, I call that a minor criticism. I thought that was uh, all around W. I like that one. 
I'm trying to get. I don't know why this isn't working. There we go, Ryan. Yeah. Um. I th- yeah. Like uh, like Ray said, I I really like the visuals. Um. I thought the. Um. Thought sonically, it had it was quite easy listen. You know, easy sort of to listen to track um i thought you know she can really sing um she's got that she's got the right sort of style and timbre for the style of things that she's singing as well it just sort of fits naturally um i think uh again like i agree with ray i think after a while i got a little bit bored of the sort of same sort of repetitive structure um you know um I, sometimes I think comes with the territory a little bit with this sort of style, um, but like overall, I overall it was a overall I liked it. Um, yeah, I don't, it's one of those like with the video, it sort of keeps me interested, but I'm not sure how much like if I was going to listen to it, just the audio, if I would be able to listen to all of it, if that makes sense. Um, mm-hmm. It's like it's not, again, it's not like nothing really wrong with it. It's just I don't know, just sort of. Um, needed to change a little bit more for me do something a bit different or slow it down in a section or something like that maybe to keep my interest going but yeah i mean overall i did like it yes no i'm gonna be the third opinion that says i liked it but it did get repetitive towards the end <laughs> okay um i'd probably listen to it again though that was all right not my style of music but i've got random shit on my playlist now because of you guys so yeah, I'll probably mm. add that one to the playlist as well. Give it a listen without the video, see how I feel. So I like the little kais in the sort of you know the kais the, the way that she pronounced cos. It was it was the that British brav thing, but it, obviously she's an American doing a British accent, which is all emo singers do. But yeah, do That's you have like do you have a crush on the lead singer? I cannot confirm I don't know. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. why is the answer yes? <laughs> I mean, I'm... Why are you waiting? That's all I can hear. Yeah, moving on. No, no, no. <laughs> no I, I, I did like the song. Uh, I do agree it got a little bit repetitive at the end, but I can love it. Uh, yeah. I also wanted to... You know the red cross on her um, hat? That's mm. illegal, right? You can't do that unless you're actually a paramedic. You know the the crop the red cross on the front of a hat. You can't do that you can unless you're an actual paramedic. Can you? I think you can if you're doing a, if it's if you're going out wearing that pretending you're a paramedic. Then that's probably yeah. But illegal, enema of but... the state got recalled because it had a cross on the hat because hmm. it wasn't allowed. So I don't well, I don't know whether fucking stupid. If that I mean like okay, <laughs> it's like. It's a video. <laughs> it's a music just, video. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's Wait, a video. they're not real paramedics? Quick. <laughs> I picture uh, Call an ambulance. angry gang of ambulance drivers while running into the video <laughs> show, just knocking everything over and beating people yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. They're not real. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so I like that track. But yeah, I, I do agree on the rep. I agree with everything you said. Uh, Next up, we have some emo rap from Yesify and Sneaker Kid. It's called I Don't Care. People don't know, people don't know, people don't know. I need to go, I need to go, I will shine and grow. Never care what they say, they don't know me not today. I don't care, I don't care. I don't care what you say, no way. People look at me today, and they think that I am just alone, like a ghost. Casper, am I a lacquer? Feeling like a but 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 hacker. Stab me in the heart with a dagger. I just wanna lay you in. But somehow I won't win I don't know where to begin Scared for my life to lose a man I'm ready for the ride, not ready for the thrills Poison, poison, cyanide kills 
see the one in the hallway Running for the hills, I'm gone today <laughs> I did well to keep a straight face while introducing it. <laughs> okay. Um, N- Nils, what did you think of that track? Oh, that was interesting. I mean, <laughs> the beat was really good. It's just the a beat shame and the video. Ruined. The beat and the video were good. It was just a shame that it was ruined by those people don't fucking know. vocals. And the layering on the hook as well. And on the outro. <laughs> it's, oh, I... <laughs> the beat was good. The video was good. That's all the positives I've got to say about it. The rest of it was fucking ass. This is the first time this has happened on the show as well, where the beat and the video have been good, and then the <laughs> artist comes in. It, it's it's that. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, not... No. Ray, what did you think of that track? Yeah, I don't know. Every, every once in a while when this happens, it's like, what, what, does somebody record this? And like all their friends are like, yeah, this is dope. And it's like you're in a room of, you know, uh, people telling you that it's good. and But it's actually not. Um, I'll, I'll try to take the uh, constructive criticism route. And just if the artist happened to see this, I would say, you know, uh, Maybe like try re-recording that hook at least. Um, the people don't know and get some help with the mix and, and the layering because um, uh, it's having an uninte- unintentional comedic effect. You know the, the way that you've got it now, <laughs> just like kind of a lack lackluster delivery. It's like, oh yeah, and you gotta you gotta believe your lyrics. It sounds like you guys are a bit tentative, you know, and um, you need a more some more emotion in the performance. What I find. Um, to be the, the funny part of this is that someone agreed to feature on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Ryan. <clears throat> yeah, I, I was like, um, I was in the zone. Like, I saw the video and then I like leaned forward because I thought, oh, this is going to be pretty good. And then I was really surprised and I was like, oh, shit. Um, yeah, it was bad um for lots of reasons um yeah this might be one of the first we've had where the video and the music and the beat is actually really good um and the artist is not um yeah also if you can do auto tune um at least make sure it's in tune um because there's lots of sections where it went out by just a catastrophic amount like like how did you not like whoever mixed this if it was even that even if they mixed it how did you not notice how wildly out that auto tune went that? um so yeah there's loads of problems i thought like mix wise um they were just again too loud um like didn't sit in the track they were like in front of the track the whole time and then like auto tune has like uh, like has effects on the mix itself as well and i could really hear that um yeah just it was bad uh the video was great i actually thought the video was really well shot um i like the different effects and stuff uh yeah i was really caught off guard with how bad it was because i really wasn't um <laughs> i was really not expecting it to be that bad <laughs> there you go he looks cooler than I did, though. Yeah, I, th- I thought off the strength of the hair alone, it was going to be powerful. Just that shot of the the artist's hair, it's like that's very yeah. well manicured, uh, quaffed emo hair. I'm back. Hello. Yeah, it's Hello. just like yeah, it just re- it really it really threw me off guard. I was really like, oh, wait, <laughs> this is shit. What? It was such um, a Trojan horse. Yeah. <laughs> it really was. Um, hmm. Yeah, I could give them like there's like there's constructive feedback I could give them, but it's like I don't know, I don't know where I'd start. Maybe just listen to Ray's review. 
because <laughs> it was quite constructively done and i'm just like god it was so bad i can't i can't i don't even know where to start uh yeah i was so shocked when i like was hearing the beat i was like oh this is a, this is a nice beat and people don't know people don't know <laughs> But this is why, talking, right? This is why, to draw on something, draw, to draw on something Ray said. It's like mm -hmm. this is why you should like get as much criticism about your music as possible because people will ground you. If 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 because that to me, like like you said, Ray, is like they they had that track. They showed it to people and they go like, "Oh, this is fucking amazing!" And like you know, nothing needs to be done to it. The mix is perfect. It's like no, there's so many. This they needed someone to go. There's so much wrong with this uh and that can be done in a constructive way you know um yeah get critical feedback okay. to your music it's really important i think especially when you're starting out it's like the second mm. you make the second you make anything at all you kind of think like oh i've made something you know like mm. and by default it must be good because it's it's made you know like yeah and you're proud of yourself for just taking the act but then you know of course it's going to be evaluated by everybody else's standards which are mm. You know, the world standard so yeah i think i I, just, I can't believe he's Sorry. like i didn't mean I, to do that I, 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 I just can't believe like if i'd listened to that myself you know if that was me doing it i just can't believe that i'd say oh yeah that's passable i don't know whether people have different like obviously we have people yes. have different standards but like when it comes to my own stuff i've like i'm a perfectionist and i i just don't think i could do it but hmm. like Ben said in chat, it's like they obviously um, spent money. Oh, no. oh sorry. Um, Jamin said, sorry. I thought it was Ben. Jamin said in chat that they'd spent money on that video, like 100%. So they've obviously hired someone to like Fiverr or whatever to like do them a video. For that Spend song. the money on the mixing. <laughs> oh. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Audio first and then the video, then the visual. So. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so. I thought I'd play that one before this next track because it's the same style. And this is, uh, this is actually a guy, uh, he follows me. I think he follows me on Instagram. He's like, he liked my story. And I was like, I need to check this guy out. Cause he's verified. It's called wet brain. Um, which is kind of a weird name, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's kind of an example of how to actually do that style. I think, which the, the last two attempted, um, so this is called Angel D Dust. It's an unofficial music video, <coughs> um, which is kind of cool. I don't know what I don't know why it's an unofficial music video. I guess it's not Vivo, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, he follows me on Instagram and likes my story. So shout out Wetburn because he'll probably see this. Oh, 
Okay, so that was Wet Brain with Angel Dust. Oh, I can't do it. Fuck. Ryan, what do you think? I can't even roll my tongue. <laughs> Ryan. Sorry. Yeah. Can, can you do the Brian? Brian. 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 Uh, yeah. Hmm. What did I think? There's lots I think about this song. Um, I like the video. I thought the video was pretty cool. Um, and I think it was probably a bit long for me. I think maybe short on it a bit. Um, again, because it just gets a bit repetitive in the end for me. Um, I thought mostly, though, it was fine. I thought the mix was fine, more or less. Um, again, I mean, it's a good example of how to do auto-tune, because there's obviously auto-tune in it, but it, it was in tune. <laughs> it's, in, it's in the right key. <laughs> Compared to the last uh, Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just thought a bit, again, just thought it was a bit repetitive. Uh, I mean, it's only like three minutes long, I guess, but I don't know, just do something like, I think like with that sort of style, then do something that shakes it up a little bit, just a little bit of dynamism that go, oh, like sort of refreshes you a bit and goes, oh, because I just felt like it was the same sort of hook over and over and over again, really. Um, mm -hmm. But I thought, yeah, I thought overall, I, I thought it was fine. Again, not 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 something I would necessarily listen to, but yeah, just needed something. Just needed something to happen in the track to make it a bit more dynamic and, like, like I said, refreshing. So that because uh, you can have like the same hook in a song repeat, but if if you do that, then there's got to be something in between it that shakes it up a bit, has a bit of emotion or a feeling into it. Because mm. when it when the hook and the verse basically sound the same, you've lost all. It's it's not a song anymore in my view. It's just it's just just sort of bland really. And I think that's when you get that repetitiveness repetitiveness come because it's just like the same tone same flow same everything and you know all the dynamism is gone and i think it's i think it's also hard <clears throat> to show any sort of emotion or tell a story in the song when it's all just the same thing so i think this guy just needs to look at his song and just it, well you know future songs and work out right well i've got this hook it does repeat so how can i make the verses more dynamic what can i do in the, what can i slow anything down or you know that sort of thing um, is Angel Dust uh, did that? Oh. What? Is Angel Dust, you know... <clears throat> cocaine. Hey, no, cocaine. cocaine. I didn't want to right. say it, I was okay. like, is it dib dab? I was like, what? Yeah, dib you, <laughs> dib that's dab. That's what everyone calls... Yeah, dib dab. I must be Burnley's is, is, specific. Is it, oh, so. Yeah, British. Oh, is, you mean like Sherbet dib dab? Yes. Oh. Sure. Is it is is that what Angel Dust is? I've got no idea, Rogue. Okay, all right, fair enough. Um, Nils, what did you think? Um, I actually quite like that, to be honest. It did need something to make the hook stand out from the vocal or from the verse, sorry. But no, I like that. I added it to my playlist as well. I'll give it another yeah, listen while I'm driving to work. But no, the, the visuals were all right as well. To be fair, the mix sounded all right, <laughs> but there was. There was something lacking, for sure. But I can't. I'm not gonna fault it. I'm not gonna slag it off. That was a good. That was a good track. I enjoyed it. Okay. Re. Oh, I can. Oh, I can do some proper rolling. Re. Sorry. It's not, it's not bad. It doesn't hit as, as good as uh, the Ryan. But yeah. I am. Um, I think I. I guess I differ slightly on my feedback then, maybe from Nils and Ryan because um, uh, well. A mix in particular, I I think Jay Min was commenting in the um, chat. I I just yeah, like I, I don't know if the mix would solve it, but like something just um, it just sounded a little bit static the whole way through, and you know needed that like change up on the hook, you know something maybe to um, help differentiate. Um, the killer for me, um, why it's not a W for me. I I, I I definitely like the vibe overall and what the artist was doing, the way they approached it. I found it like a little bit lyrically goofy and that took me out of it. Like um, with just the, I don't like girls with nice teeth. I like girls who do angel nice dust. And, you know, yeah. Them. Like, I mean, I guess I, I, I you know, I, I guess maybe it might come down to taste. Um, but that's my reaction. And then the part about like God and angel dust and selling it off the back of the Harley. And it just kind of had me laughing and it didn't, that effect for me doesn't 
like reconcile to the what the track was a bit, a bit more of an emotional and kind of somber sound i think if it's coming off right um so those type of lyrics made it like like a, almost like a parody of itself at those moments for me um but um, i'm definitely interested in the artist i want to check out more from from the artist um this one in particular just kind of left me wasn't like a home run out of the gate like oh i'm a fan of this artist i gotta i gotta hear more yeah well i heard this this one's from a year ago but i i think out of the ones i listened to, well there was there's one that i heard i was like i should i could play it but it's three years old and i'm like i, I don't want to play it but that one's actually quite good um i i enjoyed this one especially with it being like in my zone um he did have an obsession with saying motherfucker though. He did like Samuel L. Jackson rap or something. Uh <laughs> so uh, shout out to <clears throat> Wet Brain. Anyway. Angel Dust, by the way, is PCP. Called... That's why Angel Dust. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's, a, it's a drug. It's oh, an okay, anesthetic. Right. Yeah, well, I no. If D-Bird were here, he'd be doing his bad accent, as I famously witnessed when you guys had him on as a guest host. Yeah. And he would say that if you're if you're cursing too much on the track, that means that you're definitely you have more work to do lyrically. You're being kind of like mm. lazy, and just using. Um, lazy. Do, do you want to know how many streams this has on Spotify, Ray? How, how many? Six million. Wow. Yeah, I, he has a song with twenty-two million, and yeah, this, this man follows me on Instagram. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's just a, I guess it's a stylistic thing. Uh, I love, I love his work, and I would love <laughs> to have him feature on a Ray Stands track someday soon. Shout out Wet Brains. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just need uh, to do an edit where we cut out all our bad. Things yeah. and then from there. Wet Brains is dope. Yeah. Um, Pop streams, yeah, probably. But, um, <laughs> probably. Okay, um, uh, moving on anyway. Uh, Next up, we have... Oh, this is a song which I found the audio for. I was, like, pissed off because it didn't have a music video. And then I searched for it this morning, and I found a music video for it. So, yeah. Um, I thought this song was really good. It just lacked the music video. So I haven't watched the music video. So this is my first time reaction to this. But this is Diva Bleach with Kiss Her Goodbye. I remember she was drunk and alone. Oh, yeah, you left her by herself. It was December. You took her to a show, then you went home with someone else. And I don't want to hate, but I think it's too late for anyone to change my mind. Because I remember, and I've been keeping track of all the signs. She said you kissed another girl Tried to tell her That you're not gonna change And it's only gonna hurt You're sorry, no you're not Only sad that you got caught And you tried to make her forget But I remember Every single thing that you did Well I called her And she's crying Telling me next time we'll get it right You say sorry But you're lying
Mm. Interesting. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Ray, what did you think? Very good. Very good. Much Avril, much Carly Ray Jepsen. Good, solid pop punk. Very polished. Nice sheen. I like the video. Uh, um, I think it's all around W. It was a really good, solid uh, track. About the right length. Um, a lot of fun, you know. Uh, I didn't see anything to criticize or hear anything to criticize in that. I, I was uh, I was impressed. Hmm. Ryan. Yeah, I uh, agree with Ray, really. I think uh, just a fun track. Um, she digged the Karen hairstyle. Um, <laughs> the emo Karen. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought, yeah, like, like, there's nothing really wrong with it. Um, it's not something I would really, like, pick to listen to, but um, it was quite an easy listen to track. I thought it was thought it was particularly well mixed. Um, it, it, it sort of brought me, like, back to those Avril Lavigne days, yeah. Like, it was just a bit nostalgic um, for me. So, yeah, no, I, did, I liked it. Hmm. Nils? No, I'll agree with Ray and Ryan. That was a banger. Um, but Jim and said in chat, I don't think they were real detectives, and I, I I agree with him on that. I don't think they were. They weren't. I think they were <laughs> telling fibs. That's two. That's two people we've had is broken the law. We've had the not paramedics <laughs> impersonating and a not police detectives. officer now. Ah oh, man. Ah, oh, we've no, we got. Yep. We're going to get shut down for this. Yep. No, it was a it was a banger. How many? I sort, of like head, I sort of like head bobs the whole time. That's what I yeah, I was mm. I was constantly moving. How many plays on that one, Rogue? Uh, that has because it five point six k. Oh really? wow! Okay, wow. Yeah. Uh, the the version that I found had like twelve though. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I found. I guess I I find tracks quite early. Yeah, uh, I'm happy that I has a music video because that was a banger when I heard it. I was like, instant. Um, I can't even think. I can't think what I, I can't think what her name is, but yeah, Avril Lavigne and um, Carly Carly Rae Jepsen's good. Uh, but there's someone else, but I can't think of the name. Um, but yeah, top song, top visuals actually as well. Um, Pink on my plate. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's it. That's pink. Oh, pink. pink. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Fair play. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dop song. Uh, talking of Dop vocals, uh, this is Corey Mullen with Panic On. Oh, God. You did the MC Ethan. Things will get better for me, then I won't have to 
to worry I told myself it'll be okay But I think it makes it worse Unrealistic dreams tend to fuck me up People laughing, people mocking You all just make it worse I wish I didn't exist so people wouldn't know me People laughing, people mocking You all just make it worse I wish I didn't exist so people wouldn't know me What's going on? What you doing? Could be one right in the verse again. Panic alarm, I'm permanently beside it, hovering over the butt until something happens. Oh, 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 oh. Panic alarm, I'm addicted to it, knowing there's always gonna be an issue that continues to haunt my brain. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I heard the third, first 30 seconds of this and heard the first line and then heard the vocals and instantly added it to the playlist and left it. So, yeah. I didn't Is he your name? Corey Mullen. Corey Mullen. Cor Corey Mullen? Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, Nils, what did you think of that? I heard your reaction when the vocals first came in. I don't know. I don't know what I just witnessed there. I've heard, I used to have a friend that thought he could sing and it sounded exactly like that. And that's how it sounds when I said Rogue. I said Rogue, I did a hook. I, I think I sung something. <laughs> and I said it to him. He goes, Well, let me get the Melvedine out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh. That, that that has broken me. I don't really know <laughs> what's happening. <sighs> That's all. That's the type of song that you do make when you're like 12. Well, I didn't make it, but I know that a lot of people have made when they're like 12 and they think that they're like really good at singing and then that that's what's constructed. So, yeah. Um, Back when I was 12, I didn't have access to recording software. Ah, but so I had that, my that phone. Was, that was lucky. <laughs> What are you watching, Ryan? On I can see you on the YouTube thing. What, what, what are you looking at? I'm through his channel. How many more videos? Oh, we've got. We've got. Oh wait, you meant is in the, on the channel? Yeah, on oh. Corey's channel. Yeah, uh, a lot. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I know the producer that that track was from actually, not personally, I but I recognised it. Yeah. Ryan, what do you think? Um. Yeah, I just I find really out of tune singing just hilariously funny because it's it's like when <clears throat> when you don't when when someone doesn't mean to do something right because obviously he's trying to sing in tune. So when someone tries to do something and it's you know in terms of singing, it's like they go out of tune. But like to that degree, I just find it one of the funniest things. Um, alive. Um, I think this is someone that needs to learn. Again, this is someone who needs to uh, show their music to people and get some honest, constructive criticism about it <clears throat> if they seriously want to make music, which I think this isn't like meme or satire or anything like that. I think this is someone who wants to make music, and that's fine um but for it to sound that bad and for them to keep posting means to me that they're not getting criticism and that they just want or are just getting like praise and again i think you, you 
this is someone who desperately needs some constructive criticism. Like from a from a singing perspective, um, there's like no tone um, or emotion or like if, it's obviously an emotive track, but I didn't didn't feel it, and that and that isn't just because it was out of tune, but it was also just there was just so it was just no, nothing to it. There's like no dynamism, no nothing to the to the vocals at all. It was just flat, both in pitching and in everything else. Um, no amount, uh, you know. No, yes, okay, the mix was bad, but like no amount of mix would have fixed that, um, really. Um, so I think yeah, he, mix would have. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I think he could have. Uh, I think he. I think he needs to go. I think he really needs to listen to himself sing and and think like, what style do I want to be? Um, start listening to other people, other people's opinions of the track, and yeah, you know. Um, so so yeah, I just obviously he's quite young. I'm I'm assuming so. He's got a long, you know, long time to work on um his style and stuff but yeah i don't know just it started off funny and then i just got more and more depressed by the end of it to be honest and not in the good way like not where i've mm. actually felt the emotion just just because it's so flat in every dimension that i just I, it almost just sucks the energy from you do you know what i mean um yeah, so yeah that's what i thought okay It's going to approach it from a slightly different angle. Um, well, you know, I mean, I guess on any of these um, review shows that we all participate in, every once in a while, like, somebody will submit something or, you know, like in this case, we'll find something. And, you know, it's clear like the artist might be like at square one, you know, versus like somebody who's much further down their journey and has training and support and resources. Um, so I tried to you know, not, I mean, I think everything that's been said about, you know, like how the performance came off and, and singing and tone is all critical and uh, fair critical feedback and valid. Um, you know, uh, the artist Corey spoke about, um, I think they mentioned overdose at one point. And like the sense I get from the person, the artist was like, you know, a younger person, younger artist, maybe struggling with yeah. issues of identity or, or psychological pressures and um, choosing to express themselves. Um, you know, in a way which maybe they haven't quite figured out how that's going to be. And they're just taking the first step, you know, it's a courageous step. So, um, yeah, I don't know if Corey would ever see this, but I would want to just shout out Corey and say, you know, it, going for it's the hardest thing. And, you know, if you stay on this journey, it's going to be just continuous critical feedback. And so, you know, don't take um, what we say, like to, you, you know, just take it as like a, a building block and, and something you can, you know, advice you can use to, to, to do better. I, I, I do have a sense that, um, uh, I could see, I could sort of see like if they were to like hone in, you know, like that where they might be able to like find a sound and um, like I see, I see potential, you know, um, or at least I believe that I do. Um, uh, yeah. Um, so shout out Corey just for, for going for it, for trying something, you know, probably your first time. It wouldn't, maybe it doesn't surprise you to hear some of the critical feedback that you heard, just knowing that you, um, were kind of going for it. But, um, the coolest thing about like art and making music is you can just do, you yourself, you know, your own way. And it doesn't have to be, you know, good to other people. Um, but I think, I do think if Corey kind of keeps after it, I'd be curious to see where Corey is in a year or two or three, if they continue to try to, to, to make music and, you know, get support and get training and, um, you know, explore sounds and stuff like that. Um, hard, I, hard not to laugh when, you know, like it's out of tune singing and it's kind of like a goofy video and stuff like that. But um, yeah. I just I, th I was thinking about it from that angle. So well, you didn't like the you didn't like the thirty minute long leg bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the first time I've ever seen a, a, just a shot of someone's leg going up and down re repeatedly. I mean, My favorite part was the, the free the freestyle dancing and the extra long intro. Mm. Uh, I would have criticized the intro if it wasn't for the freestyle dancing and the accompanying video. So, <laughs> um, so. I didn't listen to the full track, and now I have. I actually kind of regret putting it in. Uh, here's why. Um, 
so this is like uh, I'm kind of rare bit like I've listened to the lyrics and it seems like they're going through something and now I kind of feel bad for like kind of laughing at it because it you know <clears throat> you know what I mean like it seems like they're struggling to express themselves but they're, like they're going through something so I'm not going to show them this but I think I'm going to reach out and just like make sure they are okay and like maybe help them a little bit because I feel like but... there's no comfort know, you, you know in life I mean? and and sometimes you gotta have if you're gonna make music and put it on the internet, you have to accept that criticism comes as, comes your way, and mm. you know if you don't want the criticism, don't put it on the internet. You put it on the internet, yeah. people can watch it. I think with probably far more, with far nicer than some of the comments that he will eventually get if he carries on on YouTube and elsewhere. So, you know, in the age of 2023, you've got to have a thick skin and take. And I think, like, you know, we've laughed at bits, out. but I think we've laughed at bits that anyone would laugh at. That isn't necessarily personally attacking him. I'm attacking his music or a criticism. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it was funny, but I'm just saying I, I feel bad. You know what I mean? Just He seems like he's going through something, so I, I'm just saying that's what I'm saying. But Well, yeah, I, I may, yeah. And maybe we're all, we're all going through shit, yeah. you know, and I... I yeah. The type of person you'd like to invite to, like, a music Discord and say, hey, you know, you're, if you're going to go for it, yeah, work here with us, you know, let us, let us here. We'll, we'll help, you know, we'll help you build. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That was an interesting track. To say the, least. The, the leg shaking was my favorite part. I think I was <laughs> mainly because he wasn't singing, but it was just, um, it was just like it was just that <laughs> angle. And I, was just no, like... I don't know what a guitar solo, but it was the first, uh, anyway, um, uh, yeah. We're on to our final track of the night, and this is my personal track of the week. Um, but it's actually my track of the last few months. Um, so this is Jenna Doll. Um, they are my favourite underground artist at the moment. Uh, here's why. I found them... Why, why do I keep saying here's why? As if it's like a fucking TikTok. Here's why. No, they um On the 12th tomorrow... So they, I may have a crush on that. No, no. Um, no uh, so I heard this track called Get Well Soon like a year ago, which was by Jenna Doll. And I fell in love instantly with this song. I was like, it's a banger. Listen to the imp- entire EP, EP, banger EP. Uh, and then this song came out like two months ago. And I was supposed to put it in last time when it was my pick, uh, my pick for tracks. And I just come completely forgot uh so yeah um she's like pop punk so yeah if you all hate it uh fuck you <laughs> i i think this is a bang um so yeah this is sorry brody which is kind of cringe but yeah uh by jenna Duff. So I'll take it Didn't know what he had So outrageous Homie, what's up with that? Not complaining Cause I got it laying on my chest I know it's kinda fucked up But the vodka took over We did it all again Even when we were sober I didn't think I'd ever fall in love in October But my friend's ex-girlfriend is coming over
Sorry, Brody. <laughs> um, what just happened? Awkward. Awkward. I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> okay, wait. Like, Want to like make out now? Uh, let's cut it off. The <laughs> what is it in there? <laughs> Rogue, do they make out? Yes or no? <laughs> Where, where do I subscribe? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, who should we go off to first? Ryan. Ryan. Uh, yeah. I, I again, I thought it was a fun track. Um, I thought it was, you know, pretty chill. Um, a catchy chorus. Nothing really wrong with it. I think. Um, I really don't get the fuck what's happening at the end there. Um, I thought the video, like, I think maybe, I don't know if they've got other stuff, but like, um, was that if that was their first video or something, but there was some like, no, they think got lots. Oh, okay. I think, I think the video, there was some issues with the performance, if I'm being honest, like just little things like lyric, like, um, not necessarily being in sync. I don't think, um, just some sort of just don't know. Uh, but I tell you what I did like about it. They didn't seem to take themselves too seriously, which I quite liked. Um, it helped it sort of just flow, I thought. Um, again, not my style of music. It's not really something I would listen to, but it was like sonically quite pleasing, I thought. Uh, visually quite pleasing for different reasons. Um, yeah, no, I, I thought I, I quite liked it. That was the most Rog Jepsen track of all. Rogue chips and tracks as well. But, yeah, uh, as MCD would always say, that was that was very me. Uh, Nils, uh, different, catchy, not my sort of thing, but I did get um like Avril Lavigne and Pink vibes out of it, so not a bad track. Mm. Probably wouldn't listen to it again, but and it's very confusing. I feel sorry for Brody. Yeah, yes, yeah, so sorry, Brody. Brody mate. It it's just kind of cringe, but I like it. Like, maybe I didn't I like really get why the girl off camera was like feeling her up. I mean, I didn't have a problem with it. Well, I'm not saying I had a problem with it. I just I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> um, I and mean, like when it cut to the basis with the question mark. I know that she, head, like, uh, she is bisexual. That's her. all I know. Right. So sure oh, so is she. Oh, I see. So is Bro Brody's yeah. the bassist or whatever. <laughs> We've so got a lot. My like, chair keeps him. lowering. Fuck yeah. So she's with him and then. Then he notices that other girl is like hitting mm. it right. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Get I think that's I think that's the storyline. That's why Brody was upset it because it was being revealed to him in the song, maybe that they were had something going on. Well, did he not think for the first like the first three hooks? Fuck <laughs> this is the song about me, I think maybe. <laughs> He was just doing his job and trying to get through. They just gave him the music. They didn't tell him the oh. lyrics, probably. Wait. <laughs> Wait, that's my name. What? 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 <laughs> Why are you apologizing to me? Wait, what do you think? Uh, agree. Um, very, you know, another kind of well-produced pop punk sound. Um, I thought the voice, the lead singer's voice, was so lovely and warm and um, engaging. I don't. I'm not an engineer. Um, I had the sense as the song went on that like too much was being done to it almost like, was it like a little bit crunchy or over compressed at times? Um, I mean, it's still, I think it sounded pretty good. Maybe that's just the style choice. I don't think it sounded bad, but I just found myself wondering about that just because I got the sense that the voice was so good and what was being, was too much being taken away. Um, I don't know. Maybe that gut feeling is wrong. I had that sense. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely some okay. tuning being applied to it, I think. Mm. I, I would recommend... I'd recommend... 
uh, any of you who have any interest in this artist listening to Get Well Soon, the song by them. It, that, that was the song I discovered them by, and that put them on the radar for me. So, yeah. Give me a second. I just got to go oh. and do the ritual for every show that I've done so far. All right. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, shout out Jenna Dor. Hopefully, she I'm sees not this. farting. Well, that that's also another ritual of yours. Yeah, yeah. It's like I need to listen to more of her stuff. Um, she has a really good voice. I mean, you yeah. can probably tell with that song, but yeah, yeah there was a lot oh, being well, done. Like, I, 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 hello, Tom Trap. Hello. Like Ray said, there's obviously a lot of there's there's definitely a lot of engineering going on. I think I I would agree. I don't know whether I think it's bad. Just yeah, yeah. Again, not not bad. And maybe it's like stylistic for the track. You wouldn't have like a lot of. It's not going to be a nuanced vocal. It's going to be more of a focused vocal, right? There isn't a lot of space, right? Like it's quite it's quite tight. The vocal. It's not like yeah. a lot of delay or anything on top. But it's sort of. <clears throat> And it's quite in your face, the vocals as well. But again, maybe stylistic. Though. Speaking of delay, I thought there was a moment in there where I got distracted. I don't know, it was about partway through, like a delayed sound was like kind of had me like tilt my head. Like, what am I hearing? Um, I don't know what the, exactly that was. Just a little tip. Was it under look in her eyes? To... Look in her eyes. Maybe. I have to go back and listen again. I don't know what my uh, MCD is going to come and clip that. <laughs> <laughs> but what's that? Oh. Try to like here. Yeah, there is actually some delay there. You can hear it. Yeah. Rogue is the YouTube volume. Yeah. Oh, that's probably me. Yeah. Uh, this is Ryan. It's definitely like her, the higher vocals are going through some like guitar plugin or like mm. some distortion plugin, like where you get that really like uh, screechy sort of sound almost crunchy sound. Sorry, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. There is a there is a bit of delay. I, I didn't notice it the first time I listened to it. I was just listening to it then. I was like, oh, there is a bit of delay. It's so fucking quiet though. I can barely hear it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought it's. It, it, I think that suits the style. That sort of distortion. Mm. But yeah, hmm. processing. I'll have I mean, to go so... and listen to more of their stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah. That uh, that was my pick of the track of the week, but it was probably up there with. Did you see the, uh, uh, Ray? Did you see uh, Ill Peach? Did you see the Ill Peach song? Was that today? Yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely had the show on in the background, so I'm certain that I heard All it. Right. If you played me a snippet, I would, I would recall the, the uh, song with the mouse. The video. Rats. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 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 Yep! Yeah. Yep! Yeah. Yep! Yeah. Yeah. That was fire. <clears throat> yeah, that that's pro that's that, that. I think that might be my track ever on the show. To be honest, but even better than High Regard. Yeah, I mean, I love High Regard. Don't I get am. me wrong, but like, yeah, I, I love High Regard. I don't know something about they, they... that. I think I think with Ill Peach, like, it's different, complicated, but it's so masterfully done. It's still a song at the end of the day. It's like it's not. You know, high regard's good because it's like, I mean, she's a fucking amazing singer and all that, and it's like, you know, but there's like, it's not, it's not like that different if you if you get me. Not a bad way. It's just like there's lots of that sort of style. Whereas that ill peach song, it was really different. Really heard that style done. Um, yeah, that's that to me. Just why anyway. How how popular is Ill Peach? Do they have a lot of plays or subscribers? I guess, uh, they've got like that's that song's got like ten thousand. Okay. I don't know. Um, have they got a Spotify? Oh yeah, they've got some Spotify. Let's have a look. 
Oh yeah, they've got um 125.4k oh, yeah. monthly. Yeah. So uh, why does everyone have problem. shit YouTube views, but then have loads of yeah. but Hush only has forty seven thousand streams, whereas their top song uh, well, the one I can see on the list has a uh, 1.7 mil. Mm. Yeah, that's it's just crazy. How, like different YouTubers to Spotify. Because yeah. I, <laughs> there it is. There it Pardon is. me. Because <laughs> like when I find a track, I'm just looking at the YouTube views. And I'm like, that's low. And then you got to Spotify. It's fucking. 50 million something. Biggie Foo, right? So Biggie Foo had 30 subscribers. Who subscribed? Because I remember specifically it's 30. <laughs> well, now it's 31. that definitely wasn't me. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Refresh. 53 videos! Refresh. 53 Refresh. videos. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I subscribed. <laughs> <laughs> I have some sort of notifications. I've got this to the song. Energy mail. Why you do this? Biggie Foo. Let's get it. You boy, Biggie Foo. Yeah. My mom mad as fuck. She just bought me a stiff ass bed. And I can't be eating this moldy ass bread, bro. I just fucked on this bitch. She eating cornbread. And I went to Japan and spoke to a turkey. And again, I smacked that stupid ass dude named Nathan with a piece of beef jerky. And then I bought a gingerbread cookie. I jumped in the pool, turned the water brown. I'm pretty stupid. I have bad grades. I don't want to fuck this bitch. I think she got AIDS. And I don't want to fuck all this bitch. She'll need a band aid. I just got raped. I think it was by a ghost. I don't want to fuck this bitch. She smells like toast. I just came to autistic kid for his hearing aid. Then I just beat up my dumbass grandma with a Beyblade. Oh no, grandma, are you okay? Bitch, what's that smell? Did you just fart? Smell like someone thought it. Ew, someone decided. My baby done peed on the party today. I just fucked this bad bitch I met in New York. And then I smacked this crackhead and gave him a new port. He on the heroin, shooting up like the NBA. Then I just beat up this dude named Richard. He flew back to LA. Fucked up this tall ass dude who looked like Pink Panther. Stopped this bald ass girl. I think she had cancer. Wait, she really had cancer? Nathan, stupid as hell. I think he had tap dancer. On the perks in prison, I done dropped the soap. I heard he fucked up in the crib, smoking a whole cantaloupe. What? A whole cantaloupe? Lame ass white boy listening to XXX Temptation. Fucked my new bitch. She was Jamaican. Fuck getting rich. Hey. I'm trying to get famous. I just fucked this white bitch. I think she was Danish. Just fucked Nathan's mom and brought her to Taco Bell. My plug sending me exotic packs through the mail. This boy broke his hell, he can't even pay off his hundred dollar bail. Just slapped up this white bitch, I think she's a Karen. Now I'm going to jail. My bitch a BBW, she look like a whale. I got too many hoes, call me Santa Claus. Me and my blood watching Blue's Clues. My boy just gave me some new Nike shoes. Oh my god, I just broke my leg. Ouchie, I just broke my leg. My fit too icy, I just caught a cold. I'm not like a wild boy, I'm never gonna fold. Yeah, boot like Craig. Apple Watch, 32 millimeters, I got on my wrist. It's cold as fuck, bitch. It's the winter, it's about 42 oh, Fahrenheit, judging like by our coordinates. Shot up the school with my AK-47, it was chambered at 762 by 39. Hey, what time is it? Judging by my calculations, if the sun is about 45 degrees up from the horizon in the east time, it should be around 9 a.m. Man, I'm really thirsty right now, I need to get a glass of H2O. Up in this bitch smoking cannabis, we producing carbon. Man, what the fuck is carbon? Ah, uh, okay, you see, a naturally abundant non-metallic element that occurs in organic combat that can be found in all forms of life. Man, I'm tired as fuck, I need to know where my mattress is. I wear socks and sandals, I don't care what the fashion is. My English teacher made me read a book, I think it was Hamlet. I just roasted Nathan, and he started crying. Nathan's so stupid, it had me sighing. Auntie fucked Nathan's mom, that shit had me dying. I just smacked a crackhead in the head with a printer. My dick is wooden, that's why Nathan got a splinter in his mouth. This boy trying to suck my dick like 42 Doug, I just need to wash my ass cheeks like 42 Scrubs. Uh, let's get it, your boy Biggie Foo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Biggie why Foo is my new favorite. Like, why, why did they feature some like Dexter from that like old Cartoon Network show? <laughs> Bootleg Craig. What? Why does he? How does he find these features? How do we contact a... Biggie Foo? <laughs> how do we get Biggie Foo and Young Alone to make a track together? Actually, I like the Biggie Foo track. Um, before I came on, and when I was listening, where he one of the features was like, so the you know, whatever the most of the recordings are kind of like trash. And then I had like a, he had like a very present, like extremely deep voice, like feature. The guy <laughs> like came in like randomly. <laughs> um, Biggie oh. Foo, Biggie Foo came closer to Young Alone competency in this genre uh, and mass mastery, but he didn't still didn't quite get to Young Alone's uh, style of uh, comfort uh, delivery and and uh, and editing for this type of uh, track. I feel like Young Alone wins it with the music videos. <coughs> oh, yeah, 100%. Talking about pedophilia right. at a family dinner. <laughs> Turn it to you. Go to say, did he say, I'm going to fly to Japan and fuck a turkey? <laughs> yeah, he did. He did at the very start of the song. Then he explained Wait, the uh, Then he explained the characteristics of the element carbon at around 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Yes, I, I, I saw that, yeah. 
My dick it's is right wooden. at the start. Um, the turkey. My dick is wooden. And that's why Nathan got a splinter in his mouth. <laughs> is that yeah. a reverse like insult? Like, I... yeah. I don't know. I, I, Biggie Fu is the goofiest star of new artists. I think. Do you it, think it's, it's satire? Like, it must be satire, mustn't it? Like, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Couldn't be anything but. I hope so. Oh, YouTube gives, gives some useful context to HIV AIDS. Well, thank you, said. thank thank you, YouTube, for that. Oh, just in case you didn't know, it was bad. It, it's bad. <laughs> Oh, there you go. I've just I've had to leave a comment oh. on um no hose feet young burger flipper. Yeah. <laughs> feet no... <laughs> no burger flipper. What a name. How do people come up with these names? What's, what's your what's yeah, I could literally never come up with that name. Like that uh... like young yeah. Japsai razor blade or something. Like that, it's that that type of name. It's just like young what? burger flipper. Where are you coming up with this name? Yeah, he did say that he um he fucked a girl that smelled like toast. Hmm. So How do you smell like toast? Toast, toast smells what does good. Toast smell like. What does toast Burn smell bread. like? I, 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 don't, I don't have a sense of smell, so I, I don't even know. Oh, that's right. I can't, I can't remember. Can't like, uh, remember. It's like um, it smells like butter, but that's because butter was on the toast. I, guess. Yeah. I think my favorite name of all time from one of his songs is DJ Diabito, though. <laughs> and shitty pamper. <laughs> Shitty Bamba. <laughs> just who calls himself that as an artist? He has a how song does called... this guy find all the worst names? He's got a song called Chris Piss as well. Mm. Meme rap is yeah, we we clown on it sometimes. It's definitely a thing. How many numbers is um what's his face putting up? What's you, the guy? You know that, Miles. You know Miles, like millions and millions. You know, yeah. He got he got a interview with Anthony Fantano. Really? Oh, okay. You know, yeah, yeah. It, He's got an interview. It's like forty minutes long. I haven't watched it yet, but it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an experience. I know that. Um, I can't wait for more Biggie Foo music in the future because I can tell that Ryan's gonna pick a track next week. And it's your, it's your week in it. Right? I need. Well, Ben, he's gonna go through all. I've yeah, I've got the whole collection. Oh. Should we might, just do like might a have Biggie Foo Biggie Foo show? It, it might have to be. <laughs> breast mints gone wrong because i want to know why they why and not, <laughs> why did they go wrong what went wrong yeah what went wrong oh. in the breast mints department mm. i want to hear why he hates baby right. so much shout out shout out harry muffin man in the chat says you know miles interview fire so i guess i guess they've seen it mm. okay i guess it's worth watching then uh well i was gonna watch it anyway like some point so uh this has been episode 16 of the Tuesday show. Um, we have uh, an American for the second time in race dance for half the show. Thanks for having me, guys. Get well, MCD. Uh, I'll be tuned in next week, returning to view as a viewer to uh, Tuesday show. But enjoy more shows in the future as well. Oh, yeah, I'd really love to. Really enjoyed, really enjoyed having yeah. you. Yeah, yeah 100%. Thanks, guys. Okay. And uh, we'll be back next Tuesday. Uh, for is it my week? It's Ryan, time. it's your week. Yeah, it's your week. Your week. You're, you're gonna have some fun with uh, you with this um, Biggie Foo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you all for watching, and we will <clears throat> see you next week. Bye. Tuesday, Ta -ta. Show pictures.